Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rain Dog coming at you from my bedroom in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we were working on the interior design of the butler's house. And in this episode, guys, we are going to be preparing the butthole for the delivery of a baby butler. That's right, guys. We are going to be working on a way to isolate an infected villager, cure that infected villager, and thus have that infected villager move into the butler's house, thus becoming the butler of Mole City. So guys, sit back, relax, get your coke, get your popcorn. This is going to be a freaking sweet ass episode. Um, and hopefully we can find a way to isolate an infected villager and thus get our population of Mole City up to one. Even though it's going to be the butler of, of Mo the Mole Hole, it will st he will still fall under the register of Mole City. But guys, before we even head over to the butthole, I have gathered 15 levels from grinding and I am now ready to name our diamond shovel. Sweet, man. Um, in the last episode, we enchanted our diamond shovel, but in this episode, we now have enough levels to name it. And I have decided, thanks to the comments from the Cyber Dogs, in the comment section below, guys, I have decided to name this shovel Paw. <laughs> I think that is a sweet name for a shovel because, of course, dogs dig with their paws and this shovel is a digger. So, kaplam! Paw has been born and added to the arsenal of Rendog, joining Fang, Rambo, Terra, and Claw um, in, in this epic freaking series. That is awesome, man. I'm so happy with our new diamond shovel, Paw, and hopefully he's going to last a long time and we won't lose him in lava or in some other noob way. Um, now, let's head over to the mob spawner itself, guys. Let's have a talk about how in the jazz we are going to isolate an infected villager up in here. Well, I think our first task is probably going to be to clear out the butthole because, as you can see, we have some constipation. Looks like the butthole uh, had a chilly feast last night, man, and uh, damn, things are getting nasty up in here. Um, so let's get rid of all of these zombies, this creeper. Oh, man! Was that? That was a golden helmet. I think that almost completes our set of golden um, armor dropped from the butthole. That is awesome. Um, that is actually really sweet. Okay, so anyway, guys. So, at some point, an infected villager is going to fall down here, right? Now, what we need to do is be able to isolate that infected villager and get him into a safe zone where we can then cure him using a golden apple and a weakness potion. Um... We still need to be able to make a weakness potion, so that is probably going to be coming up in the next 10 episodes or so. But let's get the uh, the butthole prepared. Now, what I was thinking, right, was using the spire of the mob spawner. So this mob spawner actually sits on top of a spire. Maybe some of you guys who haven't watched um, season one... Wait, I'm just going to stop it right there. You haven't watched season one? Oh my goodness. You see this iron sword? It is coming straight for your butthole. Go watch season one. <laughs> Um, but anyway, for those of you guys who may or may have, have not watched season one or have may have forgotten the build of this mob spawner, this mob spawner sits on top of a spire um, and there is, is actually a very deep and long drop all the way to the bottom um, to, the, to in fact the same level um, as the butler's house. So why don't we head back down there and uh, we, will talk, we will carry on talking about the plan here to isolate infected villages. So check it out, right? So here is the spire. Um, behind all of these vines. You can actually just see it there behind the vines. And of course, the mob spawner sits on top of it all the way there. Um, there's no ways that an infected villager would actually survive a drop all the way from the mob, the top of the mob spawner all the way to the bottom of the spire here. So what we're going to have to do is make some sort of like a lake or some sort of a, a pool where we can catch that infected villager without killing him, but also without drowning him. So um, we've got quite a lot of experimentation to do today. I'm going to get a, a little bit of dirt up in this business because um, what we need to firstly do, guys, is we need to plug up the butthole so that we can work in safety. We don't want zombies, creepers and spawners falling on our head while we're working in the spire. But it looks like... Um, it looks like Paul is going to do his very first bit of work in the series because it looks like our grass has now actually come over here into this area. So we can, we can do some uh, some isolation or we can fix this area now quite nicely. So Paul, go to work. Let's get rid of this dirt and uh, let's just rebuild everything here that we've taken apart. Um, what, do we, what else do we need? We need a bit of slabbage up in there. Let's get a bit of slabbage and a bit of fenceage too. There's no ways we can just leave that hole in, hole in the fence there, man. That's, that is not going to 
sit well with mine and many of your OCD problems. So there we go, guys. Now the grass is going to continue to grow and will, uh, and will grow over this remaining dirt. And I think what we can do now too is just plant a couple of flowers. Let's drop off some of this jazz. And here is some bone. Let's make some bone meal. Bam! Six bone meal and we can plant some flowers here. Um, nice. A bit, bit of grass. Looking good. Looking good. Make flowers. Okay, there's no flowers. But there's grass. That looks pretty sweet. And uh, I will do the same once all of these bits of dirt have turned into... Uh, oh, here's a flower. I can plant this flower. Sweet. Get like a nice little red flower in there. Nice. That's looking sweet. Oh, and before we even start working on this isolation area, guys, I want to go and see if we have completed our set of golden armor. That would be freaking sweet. Let's have a look. Um, where are we? I think it's in the loot and drop chest up in here. Sweet. Oh, we are so close. Check it this. Okay, so we've got a golden helmet. We've got um, golden sword, golden leggings, golden boots. All we need now is a, a chest plate. That is freaking sweet. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. Okay, so the butthole has certainly been delivering for us. Um, I am so happy with with this mob spawner. I know that it could be way more efficient. I know there's loads of you guys. You guys have given me such excellent hints and tips on how we can actually make it more efficient. But, you know, for now, I'm pretty happy with how this butthole works. Um, <laughs> that is what she said. Right, so let's dig into the spire, guys. So up there is the mob spawner. Right up there is, um, you know, the, the piston device that we made to trap the mobs at the top there so that they don't die and that we can kill them with one hit. But down here is where I want the infected villagers to, to drop. And I think what I'm going to do is um, fill the bottom of this spire with water. So when we uh, when the the infected villager drops down here he's not going to die from fall damage and he's going to fall into a nice soft pool of water and then i can come and throw some weakness potion all over his ass and uh, feed him a golden apple and kaplam we will have the mayor of the molehole man um <laughs> that is the theory anyway if you know if it works um, i will be the happiest dog ever if it doesn't work well we're going to have to try and find another plan but i'm pretty sure that this is going to work and uh, what we'll then do is try and wait for another infected villager and then hopefully it'll be a female or a male the mayor might be a, a female um npc um you know whatever i don't mind man if it's male or female as long as they get the job done um but what we need to do is get another infected villager so that that the, the they can actually breed and actually start in, increasing the population of mole city um, and hopefully we'll be able to populate the entire mole city using this method um, it might not be the most efficient method i know some of you guys have mentioned um, maybe training in some villagers from dogtown um, that we might try that if we fail doing this but um, i think this is going to work guys I've, I've got confidence in my abilities man i think this is going to work so what I've done, guys, is I've plugged up the butthole for now because what I want to do is open up this area over here and then we're going to open up the bottom over there too. So the infected villagers... Oh, no, no, we, we don't want to open up this area. What am I doing over here, man? What am I doing? Um, but we do want to plug this up, right? Because um, I, I, I want to work with this area in a moment. So let what I want to do is just break into the butthole over here first. So let's break in here. And now I'm going to open up this floor um just like this right and the idea is that once an infected villager is up in that cell over there we will be able to kill all the mobs around the infected villager and isolate the infected villager and then we can pull the lever and open this cell and the infected villager will drop down um, this shaft into the water below so that is the theory and i'm pretty positive that this is going to work um Ooh, hang on, hang on. There's some red stonage. We definitely can't be exposing that. So, um, the, okay, so the, so let's run over the idea again, right? So the mobs are going to fall into this cell over here. In there is going to be an infected villager. We're going to kill the mobs around the infected villager to isolate the infected villager and then quickly open the lever and close it, dropping the infected villager into the water pool below and we can then go down there um, to the bottom, cure the infected villager, and then that is when we will be directing the new NPC that that comes from the curing towards his very first house. So what we need to do is build like a corridor uh, for him to walk down. So he has actually nowhere to go. And what he's what his AI is going to be doing is he is going to be looking for a door. And uh, we haven't got a door in here yet, so we definitely got to 
do we have enough? Okay, we've got enough planked here to actually make a door. So let's make a couple of doors, I think. Um, let's make two doors. And because I know some of you guys have been saying, why does the butler's house not have any doors, you noob? Um, so there we go. We've got the doors in now, right? So the, the cured infected villagers AI is going to go, hang on, I need a house. Where should I go? Um, if we don't make a corridor over here, he'll probably head up into the mole hole, maybe go to my bedroom or something like that. But what we want to do is, is sort of make a path for him that he has to follow. And that path is going to, you know, sort of come along here and uh, up here. And then it's going to go all the way like this into the butler's house. And then once he goes in here, he will claim this house as his own and he will thus become the butler of the mole hole. Um, now, guys, that is the theory. Um, whether or not that is actually going to work, I have no freaking idea. This is where you guys come in, man. Um, those of you guys who have experience with populating Minecraft cities using infected villages, now is your time to help help out the Ren Dog, man. Hit me up with uh, your comments in the comment section below. Is this plan actually going to work or is this just um, foolish. <laughs> um, I would love to know. Um, I really want to try and make this work because I think that is really sweet. Um, I think that it's, you know, finally the, the mob spawner is, is doing something epic for us other than just giving us experience points. It's actually going to help us to populate Mole City. I mean, how awesome is that? I mean, that is just, that is the freaking sweetest if you ask me, man. Right, so let's pick up some water from the infinite water source over here. And now we can go and uh, add water to the bottom of this shaft. And what we're going to do in this episode also is test that this that the, the mob won't actually die when he lands into this water. Hopefully this, this water is deep enough. Let's take away this block. Um, I mean, what we could do is go up to the, the top of the butthole and fall in ourselves and see if we take any fall damage. That'll probably answer the question. But, you know, we want to be thorough. I'm also going to test it using um, a mob to see if the mob will actually die once he lands down there. So say I'm an infected villager. I've just been isolated up there. And I'm going to fall down here. Blam. Perfect. Perfect. Didn't take any fall damage from that. So our plan works absolutely beautifully. Um, so I'm happy about that. Now what we can do is do run one final test using an actual mob. Dropping an actual mob down um, that shaft. Let's see what happens. If he takes any fall damage or not hopefully not if not then our plan is working and i'm a freaking happy dog um man this is going to be so awesome i can't actually wait to make this work um it's been on my mind for many many weeks now man i've, I've just been looking forward to this project so much like right, do we have any mobs up there um oh we've got a creeper okay creeper <laughs> Man, he just dropped, literally did drop straight down the butthole all the way to the bottom. Um, let's head down to the bottom now, guys, to see if that creeper actually survived. I've also got this iron sword ready for him. He should, he's in water now, so I don't think he'll be able to explode. But he should be down here. Um, no, he's not. There he is. He survived. And he got pushed to this little corner over here, so that's cool. Um, give me your dynamite. Sweet. Okay, great. So the... The, um, the the infected village the, infect, the the infected villager capture machine um, is what it shall now forever be known as actually works and that is sweet so that is done now what we need to do is work on the isolation tunnel to make sure that that this infected villager doesn't actually just run off maybe he panics and runs all the way to the lakeside villa because that's got a door because um, what he's looking for is a, a certain amount of space I'm not enti entirely sure how much space he needs I think he needs a minimum of six by six like a six by six room and there needs to be a um, I don't even think there needs to be a bed in the room there just needs to be a door um, so this is obviously going to be more than enough space for him to recognize this house as somewhere that he wants to live um, so he's going to come all the way along this corridor right so he's going to we'll, we'll put a step over here for him he'll jump up he'll come into this corridor walk along here come over here and then what we're going to need to do for now is um is probably probably seal this off over here yeah we're, we're definitely gonna have to seal this off doggies you guys are in the way come come with me doggies <laughs> there's one. Oh, isn't he cute hey hey puppy what's cracking where's the other one sit okay sweet so <laughs> what we're gonna have to do here guys is probably seal this door off over here so let's seal this off oh god it makes it all look it makes it all so ugly but um this is this is we have to do it for now guys this is our only option at the moment um i, I you know i really don't i really want this to work so bad what the hell 
Oh, there's actually a space down here. Sweet. Didn't even know that, man. Who knows what lies beneath um, the mole hole, man? I don't even want to know what secrets lie beneath here. And there we go. So that should be good enough for him. Well, you know, who knows, man? He might just decide to go to the lakeside villa. I, I mean, the thing is, I don't want to take a chance, right? Because getting an infected villager is... You, have a, you don't have a very high chance of even spawning an infected villager. They, they don't spawn very often. So, you know, they're going to be in, extremely rare to even spawn in the butthole. So I really want to make sure that this infected villager, once he's cured, goes in the correct direction and goes straight into this butler's house and claims this house as his own. So I think this is looking good, guys. I think that um, this corridor is, is, this setup is perfect. I mean, all we need now to make this work is an infected villager, number one. Number two, a golden apple. That's pretty easy to do. I think all you need to do is surround an apple with gold nuggets. And of course, we can just head over to the gold nugget farm in the nether to get our gold nuggets. And then the last thing we need is a weakness potion. Now, that's going to be a little bit more difficult to acquire because um, we haven't made the witch's cave yet. So we don't actually have um, a cauldron uh, or not a cauldron. I think it's a brewing stand that we need. We don't actually have a brewing stand. So we are unable to make a weakness potion just yet. But we do have the blaze rods to make it. Um, a brewing stand. So I think what we're probably going to be doing in the next episode is making a brewing stand and um, literally just waiting for the mole hole to deliver. I mean, uh, uh, waiting for the, the butthole to deliver an infected villager. Um, so we are actually really close to getting the mayor of, of the mole hole into his new home. Um, now, what I, what I do need to do is look into what an infected villager looks like in this texture pack because I do believe that before um, this version of the texture pack, the, the infected villager looked like a, a, a vanilla um, zombie. But I do believe that that texture has now changed. So I'm going to have to have a look into what that looks like. I, I think what I'll do, guys, if I can find a good link for that, I will put it in the description box below for some of you guys who are perhaps um, trying to do the same thing. Maybe you're following the series and you're also trying to um, populate a city using a mob spawner. Um, that, that'll be helpful. So I'll, I will let you guys know what an infected villager looks like in this text pack. But guys, that is epic. We made Paul. Um, we have prepared the butthole for the delivery of a baby butler. And that means we've only got one more thing to do in this episode, guys. And that is to get some of your new buttholes onto the Dogolith. And uh, let's head over to the Dogolith courtyard and get some of you guys onto the Dogolith, man. Man, this has been a sweet-ass episode. I am so freaking excited about... Um, whether or not we can actually make this whole infected villager plan work I, I just i can't even wait to start working on the next episode and it looks like guys this wall of the dogolith is now completely full i do believe we have a couple more spaces up here so four more of you guys onto the dogolith starting with two from youtube subscriptions Firstly and foremostly, we have got Robert Sun. Welcome to the Dogolith, Mr. Sun. We've also got Mitch Tuohey. Welcome to the Dogolith, M Mitch Tuohey. Now from dogcraft.net, we have got Fiera64. And lastly, from dogcraft.net, we've got Ren the Puppy. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet name, man. Welcome to the Dogolith, my uh, lovely cyber dog friends. Remember, guys, if you want to get your butthole on the Dogolith, you need to be a subscriber of the Ren Dog channel, and you need to leave a constructive comment here and there on my videos. I randomly select people for the Dogolith from my YouTube channel comments. And of course, if you get if you ask to be put on the Dogolith, you will not be put on the Dogolith. So that is a warning, guys. Do not ask in the comments to be put on the Dogolith because it'll never happen. You hear me, you bastards? Um, you can also, guys, join dogcraft.net, the official cyber dog fan community. There is a thread on the forum there where you can add your YouTube username. And I select uh, names from that thread to be put on the Dogolith 2. And remember, guys, dogcraft.net is a free, completely free uh, fan site community. We have thousands of, of cyber dogs signed up. So why don't you come and join us if you are looking for a new place to hang out on the interbubs. Remember, guys, you've got to be 13 or older to join, though. But thanks, guys, so much for watching this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about our plan to cure an infected villager. Um, any uh, helpful hints and tips in populating Mole City, all welcome, guys. Hit me in the comment section below. Show me a freaking love. 
And man, I've enjoyed this episode so much. Can't wait to start the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. See you in the next episode, guys. Goodbye.